everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of Terry Tales. I have been looking forward to the visit of Ella the Explorer for so long. It's like my dream come true. I've always wanted to explore around the world. I've been to a few places, but not nearly as many as Ella the Explorer. So without further ado, boys and girls, let's welcome Ella the Explorer as she shares about her travels and reads us a great story. All right, come on down, Ella. Hello, mates. Thank you so much for having me on your program today. This is awesome. I've just got back from exploring around the world and uh, I found out about this place from some uh, Pete the Pirate. You ever heard of Pete? So anyway, he told me that I should come check it out. I contacted Miss Terry and here I am. So anyway, I'm so excited. Kennebunk Port is just lovely. You guys are all so lucky. So, I'll pick some good books to read to you today. And then we'll talk a little bit about exploring. All right? All right. Here we go. Stick and Stone, Beth Ferry, and Tom Lichtenheld. A shout out to Houghton Mifflin for letting me read the story to you today. Seems good to sit. Usually I'm off exploring, you know. So, here we go. Stick. Stone. Lonely. Alone. A zero. A one. Alone is no fun. Stick, stone. Along comes a pine cone. Makes fun of stone. Won't leave him alone. Vanish, says Stick. His word does the trick. Stone whispers, Gee, you stuck up for me. That's just what sticks do. Friends do it too. Stick, stone, no longer alone. Stick, stone, a friendship has grown. They wander, they explore. They laze by the shore. Then, Thunder and rain, a loud hurricane. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Stick is wind blown. There goes pine cone. Hold on, calls out stone. Again, he is alone. Search day. Stick, 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 stick. And search night. No stick in sight. What's that? A huge puddle? Stick, stuck in the muddle. Stone rescues him quick. Cowabunga! Kersplosh!
You rock stone, says Stick. That's just what stones do. Best friendship rocks too. Stick, stone, together again. Stick, stone, a perfect ten. To the end. And here's some good news. Remember that mean pine cone? It says here in really small letters, sorry if I needled you too much. So it looks like now we've got stick, stone, and the pine cone are all going to be good friends forever and ever. The end. Stick and stone. All right. The next story I'm going to show you is called I See a Kookaburra. A Kookaburra? Is that a real thing? Kookaburra? Sounds like a made up name, doesn't it? Kookaburra. That's a real thing. Discovering animal habitats around the world. Remember I told you that I traveled the world? That's why my accent's so strange. Because I've been everywhere. Everywhere. And it's really fun. And when you go everywhere, you find that everywhere you go, people talk a little different. It's crazy, but fun. So in this story, I'm not going to read the whole book today, but what I want to show you, this book is so cool because it'll show you like animals that you can find in the desert. Animals that you can find in a tide pool. Animals you can see in a jungle. Animals that you can see in a savanna. Animals that you can see in a forest. Look at them all. Animals creatures you can find in a pond. And in the end, it gives you detailed information about all these animals because you're going to want to learn more about them. Look at that. More and more information about these animals and where they live. Isn't that cool? So I wanted to point this book out to you because I think this would be a great book to check out. And I'm going to show you a couple more books that I think would be really super cool to check out. All right. Now this book is called The Screaming Hairy Armadillo. Screaming Hairy Armadillo. And 76 other animals with weird wild names. Weird wild names. Does that sound cool? Oh my God, I've already seen quite a few of these. But on my adventures, I have to admit, I never did see the potato cod randomly open to another page. Oh, let's see. And I never did see a goblin shark. Look at that. A goblin shark. You ever seen a goblin shark? Got any of those in Kennebunkport? And of course, the chocolate dip damsel fish. I did see one of those before. The chocolate dip damsel fish. Pretty cool. Don't eat them. Check it out. And they look like you could eat them, though. All right. A great book to check out. Learn more. And the last book I'm going to point out, this book here, Atlas Obscura, the world's most adventurous kid. That's me, I think. But it's crazy. 
you'll look at this book, it's Scotland. I read about Scotland and I had to get Scotland. And I did. And then you might read about Argentina and then you're gonna wanna go to Argentina because that's what explorers do. So again, this is an awesome, wonderful book. You know, Explorer's Guide here at the Graves Library. First come, first serve. This is a great book. I have read it cover to cover. And I want to get every place in this book. Now, any of you kids, do you need one of these so that you can find things? If you come into the Graves Library and ask Miss Terry, she will give you one of these. She has some just to give to you. So, just tell her you watched Terry Tales and you watched The Explorer and she'll give you one of these. Okay? Well, that's all I have, folks. It's so much fun to explore. This is the last place I lived. That's why I have a little bit of an Australian accent. Not much. Like I said, it goes all over the place because I've traveled so much. That's where I got matey. But I was in Australia for a while. So anyway. Travel is explore. Explore your backyard. Explore the Graves Library. Explore. All right. Signing off for now. Back to Miss Terry. But I hope to come back and visit sometime soon. Take care and happy exploring. Oh my God, guys, wasn't that exciting? Doesn't it just make you want to explore? I mean, you can explore right in your backyard. I mean, you can explore all around town. You don't have to go far. I don't know about you, but I am planning to do some exploring like every day. When I get up, I'm going to wake up and say, what can I explore today? So anyway, thank you so much, Ella, for joining us on Terry Tales. And I wish everyone the best. So don't forget, keep reading, be kind. And now, how about let's add explore, all right? All right. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you soon for another Terry Tales. Bye-bye for now.